Kent E. Nielsen here, and I am delighted to have you with me. Christ came into the world to do the will of his Father, and he prepared a way for you to do likewise. Join me to put him first in your life, receive the fruits of godliness, and realize your divine mission to be like him. You were born and commanded to do greater works than he did. Now let's go to work. Hello and welcome to Jesus is the Mark. Grateful to have you here. I'm going to be reading from today's post called Hidden Notes. This morning during our weekly family project, I put a dust jacket on an old used book and two full sheets of paper fell out of it. Guestimating, the notes appear to be 50 plus years old as the book was originally published in 1960. The notes are written in cursive and start with a scripture reference. It appears to be a woman's handwriting and is written as if she's taking notes at an address. I wonder if the notes were from the address of the book's author, even Sterling W. Seal. The book is first is a first print author signed edition of Leadership Volume 2. With gratitude to the creator of these nameless notes, I humbly offer them in their entirety. Quoting from the scripture, Doctrine and Covenants, section 60, verse 2, it says, But with some I am not well pleased, for they will not open their mouths, but they hide the talent which I have given them because of the fear of men. Woe unto such, for mine anger is kindled against them. The last uh, 10 words-ish were, were not um, in the notes. I added that as that was the complete verse of the scripture. Carrying on with these notes. Everyone is given talents of our Father. It depends on you if they come out. There isn't one person here tonight that hasn't felt at one time or another that someone else could do his job in the church better. But we must remember that while you have it, believe referencing the talent, no one else can do it. So look at yourself and see where you can improve, that you might develop that talent and our Father, that our Father gave you, that in the end he will say, Well done, my good and faithful servant. Well, how can we develop ourselves? One way is to work with singleness of purpose. Purpose means end. Synonyms for purpose are aim, goal, and objective. To work with purpose means to have a goal in mind, something to shoot at. And I might add, um, Jesus is the mark. Shoot at Jesus being the mark so that you can become like him and emulate him. Carry, continuing with notes and the final paragraph. A teacher, leader, or advocate with purpose is like a hunter aiming at a target. A teacher, leader, or advocate without a purpose is like a hunter shooting aimlessly in all directions, like a ship without a rudder being tossed and driven by the winds and waves. Thank you for joining me today. Hope this gives you some food for thought. Good night. Thank you for joining me for a brief mental workout. Wise men do their mightiest works with their mental exertions. I encourage you to take time to ponder on the weightier matters of life and to govern your body with pure mental exertions rather than having your body tell you what to do. You are welcome to connect with me further at my link in bio, where you can access my book, my social handles, my latest creative updates, and even request coaching services via email. I have been given much and am here to serve. Thank you, and God bless you to be fruitful in doing your mightiest works. Good day.